Hi everybody, this is Project 6 for the Multi-Sensor Electronic Learning Board. Today we're going to talk about the thermistor and we're going to dink around with a couple different blocks. But first of all, we have to do go back and uh, talk about voltage dividers again. The, uh, the data sheet for the thermistor, labeled RB right here, uh, we'll get to the diagram in just a second, gives us a range of uh, resistances per temperature. Um, and so I've put three examples here and what we have to do is calculate out what we'll see at the THRM line on the main pin block. Because what we have is a voltage divider, we've got a fixed 10k ohm resistor and when we take our thermistor plug-in and plug it in on the board, then we have another resistor in series. And so we have essentially a voltage divider, except for the thermistor has a variable resistance depending on the temperature in degrees Celsius. So, if we look at uh, our voltage divider uh, formula, uh, cons let's consider this 10k fixed resistor RA, the thermistor RB, um, R total equals RA plus RB, VCC or power supply is 5 volts, and so how we determine the division or where the therm line is is div equals VCC over R total, determine what that is, then multiply that by whatever RB is. So RB is variable depending on the temperature. So in the case of our first example, the thermistor is at 10k ohms when at, when at 25 degrees. So RT is 10k plus 10k equals 20k, 20,000 ohms. So 5 volts over 20,000 times 10,000 is our answer. Pause it and bring out your calculator. You should have gotten 2.5 volts. At 30 degrees Celsius, the thermistor should read roughly 8.05 kilo ohms. So VCC, 5 volts. Our total is 18.05k, 18 10k plus 8.05k. So pause it again and use this formula to determine what we'll see at the therm line. Two point two three volts. So our last example, zero degrees. Freezing point. Thirty two point seven four thousand ohms is what we should see on the thermistor. So our RT is 32.74 thousand plus 10 thousand, that's 42.74 thousand 42 ohms. 5 volts divided by 42.74 thousand multiplied by RB, which is 32.74 thousand, equals... What can we tell from this chart? Just these three different examples. 3.83 volts here at, at the freezing point. At 25 degrees, we have 2.5 volts. So more than a volt less. At 30 degrees, we have 2.23 volts, which is roughly 270 uh, millivolts less than 2.5 volts. Uh, pardon me if I'm math slightly wrong, slightly wrong there. So basically, the higher the temperature, the lower the voltage is going to be at the therm line. The lower the temperature, the higher the voltage is going to be at the therm line. Now, before we go on and discuss the rest of the circuit, let's look at that table I was talking about. We've discussed this table before in the product videos, uh, but you'll notice that there are two variables here, T and R, temperature in degrees Celsius and R in resistance. So a negative 40 on the upper left, negative 40 degrees uh, Celsius, the resistance is 340.92 kilo ohms. These numbers are in kilo ohms. If we go to the polar opposite, uh, down the lower right, 205 degrees, very, very, very hot, the resistance is less than a single kilo ohm, it's 582.1 ohms. So at 25 degrees, at 25 degrees, 
the resistance is a, a solid 10 k ohms. At uh, 23 degrees, 10.925 k ohms, and so on. So it's a pretty easy table to understand. So we have some real customization options here. Um, what I would like to do is to be able to challenge you, considering that this is the uh, last of the main project videos, uh, would be to make your own circuit here. Um, using the variable resistor and a comparator, we can we can make uh, a, a device that activates something once it reaches a certain temperature. For instance, uh, let's say we set, and we'll do this at, at this example actually, um, let's say we set the variable resistor to 2.5 volts, exactly. We'll very finely tune our variable resistor output to 2.5 volts. Now that's saying that at 25 degrees, uh, that's when we're going to be able to activate our circuit. So let's connect our let's connect the variable resistor pin, the main pin block, to C1 minus. So we always get, we're always going to have 2.5 volts here. Let's connect our THRM pin this on the main pin block to the positive. So in colder temperatures, we're going to exceed 2.5 volts. Uh, in warmer temperatures, we're going to be below 2.5 volts. So if I'm holding the thermistor in my hand, let's imagine I'm just holding the thermistor in my hand right now. That will bring the temperature up well past 30 degrees, which will mean I'll have less than 2.23 volts at the positive input. And if we know our comparators at this point, if you have more of the positive than the negative, the output is high, 5 volts. If you have more voltage at the negative than you do the positive, the output is, is low, 0 volts. So the only way to activate the output, bring the output high, would be to put an ice cube, or to actually bring it into a cooler room, a room that is cooler than 25 degrees, at which point the output will become low. Now we're going to calibrate this circuit, of course, with our trusty old LED. It will tell us the state of the comparator 1 output. And from there, we really can do whatever we want with this. We can feed into the monosignal multivibrator. We can uh, connect it to a pick or a stamp or uh, an Arduino or a Raspberry Pi. Of course, if you're interfacing your Raspberry Pi, you won't have 5 volts here, you'll have 3.3 volts, and that means for a whole different set of calculations. But in any case, let's just see where the video takes us. The V1.0 board isn't compatible with the uh, thermistor, not directly compatible anyway. I don't have the, the V2.0 boards in yet, and but that will have the THRM pin right here. Uh, so on the V1.0 board, which I'm obviously doing the video on, I've soldered in uh, a wire to simulate what you would see on the THRM pin. In any case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my thermistor connector and connect it to the therm pins. Once it's on there, uh, nicely, your thermistor is connected, your voltage divider is, is has been created. So if we power it on, and we test the voltage on this pin, it will tell us uh, the voltage representation of what the temperature in the room is. To measure the voltage on the divider, get your multimeter out, set to voltage, take your black probe, place it on the back of the regulator, because that's common, connected to the common ground line, and on the V2.0 board, take your red probe and connect it to the THRM pin, which is on the lower left. Because this is a V1.0 board, uh, again, I have soldered this wire to the bottom of where the, uh, the, where the divider is. And we're going to test it. 2.84 volts. So, uh, it's actually pretty cold in here. If you look at the resistor chart, the resistance versus temperature chart, uh, 19 degrees... At 19 degrees, the resistance, the resistance of the uh, of the thermistor is about 13,081 ohms. And if you plug that in for RB and you go back to the to the formula that we just went through, uh, you'll you'll find that the R division is about 2.83 volts.
So we're very, very close to 19 degrees here. And I'm in my uh, basement lab, so it's always a bit more cold. It's always a bit colder down here, I and mean, it's winter time, so it's about negative 10 degrees outside right now. Makes perfect sense. And uh, uh, when the furnace turns on, after about 20 minutes, it should read roughly 2.5 volts because at uh, 25 degrees, which we have the thermostat set at, or would have it set at during the evening anyway, uh, the thermistor would read 10K. So that would bring us back to one of the examples we just did. So now, let's make our connections. Our variable resistor, VAR, is right here. We're going to set that to exactly 2.5 volts. So again, place your negative pro your black probe on the back of the regulator, and place your red probe on the VAR pin, which is bottom left, second from the bottom. Right now it's reading 2.34 volts. So we have to turn the VAR variable resistor clockwise a couple times and measure again. If you have three hands it's easier. Oh look at that! 2.51 volts. That's almost perfect. So what we're going to do is we're going to connect the uh, the thermistor line as per the schematic we just talked about to the C1 plus pin on the comparator pin block. I'm going to give you a better view of this in just a second but as always I'll be showing you a, pin, uh, a pinout diagram at the end of the video. Next we're going to want to connect the C1 minus pin on the main pin block to the VAR pin that we just calibrated. Now, we can take the output pin, CP1A, and connect it to the uh, LED. Because it's cold in here, the voltage on the thermistor line exceeds uh, 2.5 volts. We've got the calibrated 2.5 volts from the VAR line connected to the negative input of uh, our comparator, and we've got the thermistor divisor connected to the positive of the comparator. So there's more voltage at the positive than there is at the negative. So the output, CP1A, comparator 1 output, if we connect that to the LED, the LED should be on. Again, because the temperature in here uh, is causing the thermal line to go higher because it's low. And as the time, right, it's kind of inverse, uh, an inversion. Um, as the temperature in here goes higher, the voltage on the thermistor line will fall. And so, let me just put the thermistor in my hand and you can, you will watch the LED go out. So I'm going to put the thermistor in my hand, close my hand, and after a couple seconds the LED should go out. Because the temperature is going up, the voltage on the, there we go, on the uh, thermistor line uh, goes down. Temperature goes up, voltage on the line goes down. Uh, below 2.5 volts, which we have on our negative pin, so when there's more voltage on the negative than there is in the positive, the LED goes out. The output of the comparator goes low. So now, if I, if we just leave this for a few seconds, what's going to happen is uh, it's the the thermistor is cooling back down because it is kind of cool in here, uh, and the LED will turn on again. Now. There's an interesting thing that is used in, in thermostats and actually many, many applications in electronics called hysteresis. And we're going to quickly talk about that before we do anything else. This is a hysteresis loop. And uh, we're going to talk about the significance in just a second. But first of all, I want to tell you why it's necessary. Say we, ha we calibrated our circuit, the one we just did, to uh, for the output to go from 0 to 5 volts at when the, the THRM line reaches... Uh, past 2.7 volts, which equates to roughly 21 degrees. So it gets colder, it goes, the temperature goes below 21 degrees, and the output goes from 0 to 5 volts. And that turns on a heater, turns on a relay that turns on a heater. And what happens is the voltage on the therm line goes below 2.7 volts, the heater turns off, but immediately, as soon as the heater turns off, the room gets colder again and the relay turns on again. Then off, then on, then on, then off, then on, then off. And it gets re it's really inefficient and really annoying. So this is, somehow, this is how a thermostat works. What happens is, uh, let's say the output is uh, uh, 0 volts, 5 volts. Our 
program, let's just say we've connected this to an Arduino, uh, the output will go from 0 volts to 5 volts once, it re once the THRM line uh, goes higher than 2.7 volts. Um, and then what will happen is the output will stay at 5 volts, so the circuit will be active, say it turns on, uh, turns on a heater. And the heater will stay on until the voltage on the THRM line goes below 2.5 volts, at which point the output turns off, the heater turns off. So, the heater's off. The room starts to get naturally cold again. The voltage on the THRM line goes up 2.55 volts, 2.6 volts, 2.65 volts, 2.7 volts. Oh, threshold's been reached. We, our output goes to 5 volts again. Turns on the heater. Heater turns on, and the voltage on the THRM line goes down with the temperature. 2.65 volts, 2.6 volts, 2.55 volts, 2.5 volts. The output turns off back down to 0 volts. And then, of course, the... Uh, the uh, relay turns off. Naturally, again, the room gets colder over time. The voltage on the THRM line goes up to 2.7 volts, and so on and so on. Uh, what makes it a little bit confusing is that uh, it, would be, it would be much... We could actually reverse our circuit. I'm not going to talk about that. We could reverse our circuit so that the voltage on the THRM line goes up as temperature goes up, and down as temperature goes down, but it's kind of inverted here. So. Uh, but hopefully this has been a good example. Uh, you'd use programming, and, and typically what I would do is I would take the thermistor line, the THRM line, and I would hook that up into an ADC, uh, an analog to digital converter. Most chips have them, and you can do a compare. If uh, you you can do compare sequences to say, is the voltage here yet? Yeah. Uh, if not, ignore. If yes, turn on. And then have the ADC search, 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 is the voltage at 2.5 volts yet? If yes, go back to 0 volts, and and so on. So this is this is something you can do with your Arduino, this is something you can do with your Raspberry Pi. I would use a pick for this per, uh, personally, but uh, I haven't done many projects with thermistors before. I've been meaning to, uh, but I haven't gotten around to it yet. But again, it, it's not a very difficult program to implement hysteresis. You, have, you need two voltage references and you, you need to basically determine uh, how to program it, how you want to customize your circuit. So again, output of the circuit goes high when, the, when uh, the temperature reaches below 21 degrees and turns off when it goes above 25 degrees. And we're talking about degrees and we're talking about voltage on the thermal line. So hopefully that makes sense uh, I hate to give so much theory, and uh, considering that this is the last official video, I'm going to be making another couple of videos over time, because, uh, you know, the more exposure, the better. I'm sure I'll come up with some different ideas, but I wanted to introduce you to all of the different circuits, and I, I know that this video has gone on way too long. So thanks for watching. Uh, check out the, uh, the wiring diagram that we've just put together. I'll put that up in just a second, and uh, the manual will have the... Uh, the temperature versus voltage chart for the uh, thermistor. The variable resistor, VAR1, the LED pin, and the thermistor connector are all circled in the upper left. Uh, these few connections that we have made are lined out on the bottom right. On the main pin block, the VAR output uh, is connected to the C1- minus pin of the first comparator on the comparator pin block in red. And in blue, the therm THRM output is connected to the C1 plus pin on the comparator pin and block. The output CP1A in red on the main pin block can be connected to the LED or it can be connected to your, your Arduino, your PIC, your Raspberry Pi. The uh, opportunities are endless there. So uh, very few connections in the circuit but a lot more theory explanation. So thanks for watching everyone.